Check the bomb. Tell her name's Jaros. Um, I might alt account that that was plat slash gold. Now it's champion. I noticed a lot of things that people were doing wrong in plat elo, such as site setup, and that's one of the big issues that a lot of people need to learn. So no one like when I was starting the game, no one actually told me what to do. I kind of like noticed from what other people did, and also from what my friends who are also pretty good at the game did, and we all kind of like learned it off each other. So like it was like one of those things where it's like slowly and improving kind of learn. For starters, we'll go in kids. So for now, like there's technically five roles. Like if you go into the comp level, but. What I'm going to show you is kind of what you should do as a rotator. Like, let's say you play smoke or mute, the person with the shotgun. This is uh, kind of what you have to do to set up site. So, for starters, you get minimum feet holes right here. Now, a lot of people, what they do is they make feet holes on this side of the wall and they reinforce this. Don't do that. The reason for that is because if you're in kids and you have that reinforced, you pretty much are useless. All you can look at is the, the, the type white. And also, if you play over here, if they open kids window, you can't really watch the window. You can kind of watch the window jump in. That's not that bad. But if they play kids window or their top white control, which they eventually they will have, at least in the higher elo lobbies, you will get destroyed and you won't be able to use these and the only one you will be able to safely is probably look at top white but even then that's still pretty bad so you want to reinforce it oh and another thing i forgot to mention if they jump in big window and you're over here in kids window or top white it's kind of hard to see it's kind of weird but if you look at here you have this pretty much the same thing you kill them easily if they try and rotate over here you kill them easily and um, if you want, you can reinforce this hatch or rotate to over here and watch the top white run in. So you pretty much have the same angles and shit that you normally would get, but except it's just better to have the fetals there. Now another thing is rotate right here. This rotate right here is pretty simple. I mean, like it's pretty well, it's pretty fine, I guess. Like, I don't know what to say. But another thing you kind of do to make it a bit better is, let's say they are pushing Master and Trophy side, you open this part to make it kind of a head hole and you can watch them walk into Trophy. This is a hard angle for them to counter, at least whenever I'm, whenever I'm attacking. And I try and look at this, it's kind of odd. You always, they kind of swing out too much, usually, and this is kind of what it looks like in their perspective, because they think you're in this corner, so you get pretty much an easy headshot. That or they try and walk through here and they're kind of exposed but because you have that angle it's a lot more open you kind of see a lot more than you normally would now another part where you should always have is a head holes right here now you could make this a rotate hole sometimes i do it by mistake but you don't typically want it to be a rotate hole you want it to be the head hole uh let's just take a video it's kind of a rotate hole not intentional but yeah uh, these two reinforcements are here, very important. Now, if you're smoke or mute, you're not supposed to be the person reinforcing, you're supposed to have your teammates do that, but, like, my friends as well, they fucking don't reinforce, which is pretty annoying. Now, another part is, you get the hole right here, and, um, this is usually where you would throw nitro and stuff. So, if, because, if I had a nitro cell, uh, this would be better, but you aim right here, at this second line, you would get a perfect nitro cell. And the throw that would land right here. And so it would land right here and it would reach into a bit into master. It would take out anybody in this corner or this corner of the room. And sometimes if you're lucky, uh, they would kill someone standing here. But it's a pretty good night just so. Now, another thing which I see in art and FPLC, um, you make cannibals right here. And you have a shield and trophy or someone kind of play in there. I like these head holes, but for the sake of rank, you probably won't see anyone like him. But if you do, like, just ask your teammates if they want head holes here or not. They'll probably say no, but it's not that bad. Head off over here. On that. The second match down there. And reinforce those two walls. Pretty simple. The time limit. Secure the bomb. 
Okay, the next set setup we'll be doing laundry. Now, for starters, what you do is you kind of want to make it a bit close. You do not want these to be rotated. Hole. Like, for instance, right here, you don't want these to be a rotated hole. So, what you would normally would do is you would get close up to the wall and head to the first shooting the shotgun. And this will make sure that the the head holes won't be anywhere clear, they're close to uh, vault hole. But head holes right there, we close to the left side wall. Now, uh, some people do feet holes here instead, but for sake of video, we're not doing that. The rest of it here, and kind of the same thing I kind of showed you last in the last map. You can make the head hole right there, there's nothing wrong with that. But the issue with this head hole being right there is that if they're crouched in a, the head a glitch spot right here they can kind of see if you rotate across but if it's just a head hole you could technically um, kind of play with it if you go to getting it you can kind of crouch through the hole but you can also just sprint across and they won't be able to shoot you but they could also be in that corner so you have to always be careful now here this is the kind of the more controversial spot where you put head holes some people like to put headholes there and reinforce this wall and some people like to put the reinforcement here and the headholes on the wall. Now, you can ask your teammates where you want them, where they want them. Personally, I always put the reinforcement here and I kind of peek the headholes like this. I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's worse or better, but I think this reinforcement is a bit better, but that's my opinion. Another part where it's a big one, really. Put the re we put the rotate hole here in this spot in the middle. Now you could as do it on the opposite side. I've seen, I've had friends and I played with them and they put it on this side of the wall. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of it, so I would just recommend putting it on the left side. And put a shield far back. You want to put the shield a bit further back for one specific reason. If they nade, they can bounce the nade off and land it right here. And if the nade, if the shield is too close, the nade will um, will explode without reaching the other side of the wall where the ADS would normally be, and the shield will go on, and the ADS wouldn't have done its job. Now you always want to make you always want to make holes up on this top of the wall. The reason for that is because they're gonna walk down T1. These holes right here make it much harder for them to walk down and a bit more hesitant. Especially if you have a pillar player or a guy playing barrel door, which normally is the case, you would be just fine. Now, you want to make head holes here. You typically don't want to make them a crouch hole, but I don't really care right now. You have to make vault holes. But you reinforce the right side of the wall, head holes, head holes here. And you kind of have someone playing e box, make sure you don't run in. And uh, this part's a bit controversial as well, not everyone does it, but you usually make a hole right here and look at T1 from uh, this doorway. Not always the best, but most of the time you reinforce both of these walls. The reason for that is because, let's say you're playing barrel door, and you don't want to be, you don't want to get like, caught by the e-box hatch, because this hatch typically always gets open. If you play barrel door, both walls are reinforced. You have a lot more freedom to worry about T1, and if they're coming walking in the uh, barrel door, you can kind of swing out and kill them. But that's another thing. So it's a pretty simple site setup. Where you, there's a, a couple other things you can do with roaming. There's a lot of roaming potential. But uh, here's the last part that a lot of high elo players do that uh, not everyone in plat does. You barricade the bottom line of your door. You always barricade this door with this door in particular. Because what happens is like, you usually have three people kind of focused looking at barrel door. And there's sometimes like that one fucking roamer or that one lurker attacker. And they always kind of like rat down laundry stairs because not everyone has barbed wire or no one's kind of close to realize that they're walking in laundry. They crouch through sight, they walk through here. They kill the person in the freezer and then they walk straight ahead and kill the person it's elbow and everyone left. else. So, but so far that's laundry setup the last detected. site is meeting insertion. now yeah, um, when you have Bob come to the choice secure. of dining and meeting uh, it's kind of controversial not really but every time i play face it every time i play with others we prefer meeting than dining and the reason for that is dining is a bit more 
But it's a bit easier, it's a lot easier to attack, and it's actually a bit more complicated to, to set up the sites, and not everyone kind of knows, even in Champilo, but yeah, dining is kind of a, the, the quote-unquote worst, worst site to set up. I'm meeting, this part kind of always gets me a bit confused with my son, myself, but what you want to do is always make a rotate hold the site, always reinforce the two split walls and you want to open up you have to talk to your teammates about this there's a lot of communication that comes to setting up the site um whether to open either catch or reinforce it you think you could really open it up but you always talk to your teammates if anyone's roaming above or not if there's just no one roaming above the like kind of defend it then there should be no point that the hatch should be open. That's kind of free for attack. You open this hatch always, and you make holes in here to watch, watch anyone walk in blue, because they might try and walk in blue to try and go up to one stairs and etc. You don't want that, so you will hold this angle in here. Now this part you usually do in comp, you make holes on the right side of the wall or the left side of the wall. And you, but usually it's the left side, but you reinforce. For the sake of the video, we'll, we'll do the feed holes on the left side, that's a more popular one, and you reinforce the right side. You walk on the short stage, and you watch T1 uh, door walk in. That, or you can put here, and make sure they don't get close to the double door, and place the Osa shield down and everything. So you just kind of like chill here, and make sure they don't do that. But some most of the time we do T is people reinforce these two walls. Alright, and then upstairs, actually, we'll do kitchen next. You usually, re you always reinforce a single wall. And you open up the kit's hatch. And you sometimes, not all the time, make a rotor over here. It's really hard to interrupt that. And you make cat holes here. That's usually what I do. Cat holes. If someone's playing security, or security door, they can usually um, watch the rotate hole, but no one should be rotating between sites like that all the time. But here's another important part. You make feed holes here to watch the big one jump in. Uh, you usually have smoke play inside of security. The reason for that is because they can come over here, throw smoke canisters and shit. It's not really the best, but you can kind of do a lot of stuff with smoke here. And if, they ha if they're pushing site over there, um, it's kind of hard for smoke, but you can kind of do a lot of stuff. And plus he has a shotgun at close range if they push security doors, so it should be a free pick for smoke. Unless he's ass. And you have to push the hatch, so in case you're getting pushed way too hard or you need to rotate, you could drop down the hatch and flank, uh, go up freezer stairs and flank whoever is in security hall. Now, the, usually you would have people play above. Usually you would have people play above and kids and stuff. Um, this part's a, I never really do this part, but you usually make a few holes here, like kind of like what you do normally, or you reinforce both of the walls. Sometimes you would see a rotate hole here as well, and you would have someone playing pit or someone close, kind of looking for his master and stuff. But uh, usually, almost all the time, you would have these two walls would be reinforced. Two walls would be reinforced. You would sometimes have head holes right here. Not all the time. Most of the time you want head holes there. You have this wall reinforced. And that's pretty much upstairs. These two walls, like you could always reinforce them, but most of the time this is left soft and this top white wall is reinforced. The reason these uh these two walls are soft is because you're playing in kids and and top white. You don't. You're yeah, not playing the left. objective. Like you, they can't plant here and shit. You get it. So they Five have to walk remaining. forward and you have to kind of walk into your cross here if they open up that wall or a trophy wall. All right. Um. What the fuck did I say? All right. So pretty much what I showed you is the default site setups. I kind of like gave a little bit extra like detail, not really, I like a little bit of tips uh, how to hold the site a bit better, but there's obviously a lot more that comes into the, you know, a bit more high level play, but that's kind of like the basics that you would probably need to rank up.
Now, if you're in copper or like gold, maybe even silver, this site setup tutorial probably won't even help you too much because no one in that rank knows how to set up site. Yet. So you would have to do it all by yourself and stuff. It's more like getting out of silver and bronze. It's more about aim and like kind of like killing everyone. Once you start getting into gold and platinum, that's when site setups actually are starting to get more important because that's when people are actually know what they're doing and people are going to start using abilities to like help out the team and shit. So if you're in bronze or silver, the site setup won't help you. It's more about aim and playing together. So that's my advice.